All right, hello, folks. It is me, Layton, and Xbox Freight, and we're here today with a very special video. We are going to be putting together the, if you saw the last video, aforementioned editing, gaming-ish uh, computer for uh, Spaceship Diversions. However, as surprising as it sounds, our combined intelligences are not enough to complete this task. Not enough, not enough. So we brought someone special today. We did, we did. We brought our tech expert. He's been with us for a very long time. Uh, this is actually his first on-screen video with us here. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause, please drum roll for our tech expert, Jed! Jed! <laughs> Woo, Jed! Yeah, all Jed. right, all okay. right. Ladies and gentlemen, Jed. Uh, Jed, Jed ladies expert. and everybody else. Ladies, gentlemen, those in between, okay. All right, Jed, you, you uh, ready to put together a computer? In case you missed it and are wondering about uh, the parts that we're going to be using for this computer, we made a video about that. It's very in-depth and informative. I'm not lying. If you want to see it, then uh, click Jed's face or something. Click it. Right right now? Click it! We have this motherboard. It's the ASRock, I guess is how you're, you're going to do it. Uh, it's X99 Extreme. Four. You read the numbers. Oh, oh, need, need any assistance there? Good old oh, boy, old pal. I think we got it. I think we got it. Old Sean. There we go. Oh my. Oh. My. And uh, most most computer components, not almost all of them, will always be in this kind of plasticky looking cover. But this is uh, yeah, kind of feels like maybe Doritos. Right. Not right. really, actually. This is to protect the uh, components from static electricity. So make sure before you take it out, uh, you're you know, uh, properly grounded before you start touching the components and before you take it out. That so way I can't you don't... leave my room? Basically. All right, well, now that we got our motherboard, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to install the CPU, and we're going we're gonna to switch to our lovely Frank cam for an in-depth look at that operation. The first thing we need to do is make sure we have our uh, wristband connected to the proper grounding. That way we don't have any static electricity left in our bodies. Because that will jack everything up. That is correct. All right. I don't want to jack this up. Once this is $1,300 of not jacking up. Yeah. Okay. Yep. This is not something you want to mess up on. All right. So once you have your wristband on and all that, Looks we're going to go ahead and carefully take this out of the packaging. Oh, it's, it's, it's fluffy. It mm. is. Yep. Mm. It smells like a Smells like old markers, like the kinds that they told you not to sniff. All right, so now we're going to be taking an i7 uh, Intel core processor. So I believe it's six cores in this one. Mm -hmm. It's a it's yep. a fi 5820K. K for you for, for those listening at home is unlockable and mm -hmm. unlockable. Which Correct. I definitely know what that means. All mm. right, and then we're going to go ahead and take this out of its packaging, Woo! and then we're going to put it into the motherboard. Woo! Mm -hmm. Woo! All right. The CPU is one of the most delicate parts of the entire computer. It's got a little pink. You can basically think of it as the brain of the computer, but you need to be very, very gentle with this. Should we read manuals? No. What we'll go ahead and do here... <laughs> Excellent advice. What we'll go ahead and do here is there are lever levers on here, and what you'll do... Usually, sometimes there are only... There's just one. In this case, there are two. Yep. Yep, you can do that one. This is the one that I break. No. There you go. And then what will happen is the door will be loose and you'll be able to open it up like that. But be very, very careful not to touch any of those. Dang. One that's... of those pins is bent, the Whoa. motherboard is ruined, and the CPU will not work. Dang. So you want to be very, very careful. Alright, and what we're going to go ahead and do here is very gently take the CPU out of the case. Sides there. Yeah. Yep. It's a little heavier than expected. Well, if you look very closely here on the side, there's a little golden arrow. Now, the little golden arrow is to line up on the uh, motherboard itself. And if you look closely as well, there are also a bunch of little notches in the side of the CPU. And if you look closely on the motherboard, you'll see where it'll fit in. Now, does that match up with this arrow? Is that, is that the matching yes, arrow? Yes, that is correct. That is the arrow. I couldn't see it. All right. All right. So very so carefully. Now. Very carefully. Pressure's on. 
you just want to very gently set it down. Try not to wiggle it or anything like that. Just set it down. It should set right into place. It right. shouldn't need to be wiggled. So I'm gonna. And then yep. Whoa. You're good. Do I... Okay. So this first or which? Yep, first? that one first. Yep. Or here, oh, that, that goes that under. Needs to be latched. There you go. Oh. And that and this plastic piece will oh. just pop right off when you do that. Oh. Now, when you do this, you'll notice it takes a lot of pressure on these yeah. levers to put it down into place, but don't worry, you're not going to harm it at all. And then this wow. plastic piece should just pop right off. It's beautiful. Yep. That there is you go. freaking beautiful. Do you see that beauty there, Frank? It's it's beautiful. So I see you, home. CPU. It's RAM time. RAM time with Jed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to put in the RAM. Alrighty, well, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure you've looked at the manual to know which of these are optimized. Now, in this case, it's really simple. We made, we double checked real quick, and it's going to be all of the black slots that have been optimized for this board. And that is why I bought four sticks of RAM so that I can be super cool and fill in all the spaces. OCD wins. Alrighty, and then we're going to carefully open the packaging, make sure we don't drop anything. I'll take that before I go. There you go. All right, so when you're looking at the RAM, you'll notice there is a little notch there, and it'll be to one side of the RAM. And then if you look back down here on the motherboard, you'll see that there are these little uh, notches as well. And what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to make sure you put the RAM in correctly. That way it'll actually work. All right, so what we're going to do here is just very carefully put this side in first, kind of. Slide it down. All right. And then you're going to very gently, of course, double check, make sure it's all lined up, and then very gently just start to give it a push until it goes all the way in. And actually, we're going to need to take it off this. Now we're going to very gently push it in, and you should hear it click. When you push it all the way down, you should see the, um, the clip on the back push into place, and you should hear a little click and that means the RAM's installed properly. Now Layton's gonna try it. Breaks RAM on camera. And there you go. Editing is magic. Thanks, helpful note. Wait, wait, is that backwards? Now it's, right, okay. it's because the, okay. Right, so it matters even less to me. All right, and there's the last piece. Woo, woo, establishing shot. So now shot. we Check have it out. our RAM in place. Now we get the pleasure of installing the CPU cooler uh, so that my CPU doesn't not be cool. Uh, on this particular motherboard, we already have uh, the mount built in to the motherboard, which is nice. Um, sometimes with some motherboards, you'll have to install a mount manually. And this is what would go on the back of the motherboard, but in this case, we don't have to. We're going to take these uh, spacers and very carefully screw them down. And there's going to be a total of four. Alrighty, and there we go. So those are all in place now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take... Uh, this is a massive looking thing, but it's really quite simple. Down here, this is what's going to be touching uh, the CPU, and uh, it's just a whole bunch of heat sinks with a fan to keep it nice and cool. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and pop off the fan for right now, and there are some uh, little clips on the side here that we can easily just pop off. There we go. This way it'll be a lot easier to use. Also, you'll need to make sure you have a thermal compound for this. So make sure you buy that. What we have is this. This is what we have. So this is gonna go down on top here, and then we're gonna put these uh, metal mounts onto the side of it to hold it in place. All right, so now we're gonna take these... Uh, uh, things. What are they called? Screwy things. <laughs> Screwy things. Screwy knob things. Okay, so now we're gonna take the ends, and we're gonna screw down these metal parts here. Again, nice and tight, but not too tight. And we're going to take the thermal compound. Yep, put a little piece about the size, about a grain of rice, give or take. Right in the middle. Okay. Is that good, Jed? 
I think it'll be fine. Oh, yes. I can take off this plastic covering. Mm -hmm. And now, oops, very, very carefully and very gently, we're going to attach this side first. Place this down. All right. We know what we're doing, we're professionals. Oh my word, this is ridiculous. Get it? Is that gonna pop off? Did we put these mounts on upside down? No. Yeah, no, here, watch. Yeah, that, those mounts are upside down. Are you serial? Yeah. We're pro computer builders, ladies and gentlemen. Live from New York. I'll take that smug look off your face there, Frank. I'm sorry. You wanna you wanna do this? No, no, not at all. It's fun. I don't even know. It's like it's like Legos, but for adults. It's like adult Legos. So we actually had these mounts upside down accidentally, and we didn't discover that until we were trying to put uh, the heatsink on the first time around, but we quickly fixed that. So now make sure everything's lined up. We're gonna come over onto this side. And it's going to be really tight and you're going to feel a lot of tension as you push this down. But then it'll be locked into place and that's how it should be. It should be tight. It mm -hmm. shouldn't be loose. All right. Now everything can be nice and cool. Cooler than Mr. Freeze. Well, now we've put everything that needs to be put on the motherboard for now on the motherboard. So, it is time to move on to the next the next step being opening the case. No, not yet. Where did we put all the motherboard stuff? Is it up here? Are we serious right now? Did we put everything up here? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm. Oh, okay. I thought you wanted to know Welcome to Spaceship I Diversions. Need, so Spaceship. Yeah. Diversions. All right, so now we're gonna open up the case and uh, yeah, get ready to pop in the uh, IO shield. Pop in it in, pop in it in. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Pop in it in. Aloha. Well, aloha to you too. Hmm. It says aloha. Actually, it says oh 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 ola. It's still saying hello. So just make sure to be very careful when you put that in. You don't want to cut yourself. Boop. Dang. I'm going to cut myself. Oh. Oh. There it is. Hey, World there it Star. is. World oh. <laughs> We're going to put the motherboard in the thing. Gently. It needs to go up towards the top a little bit. And when we place this down, we kind of want it to be on the mounts as much as possible. The ports. Yeah, there we go. Yes. The snorts. Screw time? Yep. All right, well, we're going to install the motherboard. Yay. keep building it. Woo. <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is install the uh, power supply. Got a EVGA 600 bronze. All right, so we're gonna slide this right in here. The edge is a hair. No, just a schmutz. There we go. Handy, handy magnet. Magnets are quite handy, by the way. Now we have the graphics card. There's the back. It's not covered. And here is the graphics card itself. Hey. 
looking good to me. Alright. The graphics card is now in. That was one heck of a jump cut. But, uh, yeah. So I had to basically... Basically go... Uh, clutch. <laughs> I had to go kind of nuts... With, with this, I screwed up a lot of things, but I fixed them. <laughs> First, I put this upside down, and I needed to take out the fans again, again, again. And uh, it's just uh, it's just a bad story. Wow, I can't get this to focus. Yeah. But it has a good ending, hopefully. Right now, my computer is completely built. So, now, <laughs> just to see if it turns on, wish me luck. Well, it turns out that it did turn on, and I somehow managed to avoid having any problems. All in all, I like the end result. It's fast, and it looks pretty nice. I've got it plugged into a basic, like, $100 uh, 1080p monitor and an old thrift, thrift store keyboard because I don't have a giant budget, but I can always upgrade those later. I know this video was a bit rocky, considering much of the cable management and hard drive installation took place off-camera, and half the time it didn't really seem like I knew what I was doing. But I didn't, and that's really just the truth of it. This is the first PC I've ever built, and I was unsure at the best of times. Uh, I've got to say, it was pretty fun, and the value of the end result makes it all worth it. This video is definitely not a tutorial. But if you have been interested in getting into this sort of thing, uh, do what I did. Just go find more videos and tutorials and just go for it. It's, it's pretty great. That's basically what I did, and it's why I'm able to make this video now. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Likes are appreciated, and if you enjoy videos like this and the others on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.